What's going on people? Uh, today I'm going to shoot a really quick video for you guys just to kind of give, give you guys a step by step on, uh, on how to uh, mount a TV to your wall. Uh, the construction uh, here is I've got a drywall, uh, drywall and there is uh, wood studs uh, behind the drywall. Uh, so this is like regular, uh, regular construction for pretty much any house that you're going to be in. If you're in an uh, apartment or, a, or, or a, uh, an office building, uh, there, might be, uh, wood, uh, there might be metal studs uh, behind the wall, but in most houses, probably most all houses, uh, studs are wooden 2x4s uh, behind the wall uh, and they're usually on 16-inch uh, centers. Uh, so let's get into, let's show you what, uh, uh, what tools we're going to need. And I've got my assistant here to help. High five. Booyah! Alright, there's a few tools that I'd recommend you have uh, ready on hand. So I would recommend a knife, uh, I would recommend a, uh, a, a pencil or a pen, uh, a stud finder, uh, some blue painter's tape, a uh, tape measure, a drill, some drill bits, and a level. And depending on how high you're going to mount the TV, uh, it might be a good idea to have some type of uh, step stool. Now the tools are all out of the way. Uh, what we're going to be hanging is we're going to be hanging a 43-inch uh, television, uh, and we're going to be hanging it on a, a mount that actually fully articulates, so you can pull it out from the wall and you can uh, turn it left and right. Uh, and this particular mount, it actually mounts to a single stud. Uh, some of the mounts that you guys have, uh, there'll be a large rectangular piece, and that large rectangular piece, uh, you can mount it directly on the wall. And the nice thing about the large rectangular piece is you can then actually hit uh, two sets of studs. Uh, and, and we're only hanging a 43-inch TV. Uh, it's a new TV, uh, and it's pretty light, so having it hang on one stud is uh, not going to be a problem at all. Uh, let's show you how to uh, find the studs. First thing you need to do is you need to figure out where you're going to hang your TV. Uh, you need to figure out what size TV you want. Uh, like I said, this is a small TV. And so the so my this is actually my uh, parents' house. So they had cable put in their garage, and they had it mounted right here. They just want the TV to cover the cable outlet. Uh, so I'm pretty sure there's a stud here, and I'm pretty sure there's a stud here. I've got some blue painters tape on the wall, so I can draw on the wall uh, and not put any marks on the uh, on the paint. Uh, so let's go ahead and get my my stud finder here. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to press the button, and I'm going to slowly move it over. So you see the little flash right there? So that's right there, it's saying center. So this is the center of my stud. So I've already got a, a mark on the wall uh, right here. The next thing you wanna do is you want to then uh, get your level and you wanna draw a straight line uh, up and down. So you wanna, you wanna get the center of your stud, you wanna get the center of your level and you wanna put it right where, the, uh, right where the mark is. You want to make sure your bubbles, uh, you can't really see my bubbles, but you wanna make sure your bubble is right in between the line here for your up and down, and then you want to go ahead and you want to draw your line. And now we know that there is a, there's, there should be a stud uh, directly behind this right along, my, uh, right along my pencil mark. This is actually a sample wall that I built uh, for actually for another video, and this is actually what the, wall, what the wall looks like from behind. So if we were standing on the other side of this, you know, this is, this is the drywall. That is the painted surface on the outside. And if you were to flip it around, see my assistant's hiding right there. If you were to flip it around, you have studs. And the studs is what you attach the drywall to. Uh, this has metal studs on one side and it has wooden studs on the other side. Uh, that's for a different video. Uh, but since this is home construction, uh, we have uh, wooden studs. So when you are on the outside of the drywall and you are trying to find your stud see it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna beep and it's gonna say that's the center so you're, you're starting off the side and you're going over you're sliding across the drywall and it's beeping right there and that is the center of our uh, of our stud it's really important that when you mount your uh, your mount to the wall you really want to make sure that you get all your uh, all your screws or your lag bolts your fasteners you want to make sure you get it in in a stud because if you only put it on the drywall the TV will fall off the wall so you really want to make sure uh, you hit a stud especially uh, with this TV mount that I have it only attaches to one stud so we really need to make sure we get it right in the uh, right in the center so I've got a very small drill bit you can see a really really tiny drill bit Let's see if it's going to focus a really tiny uh, drill bit right here and I'm just going to drill a, a really fast uh, pilot hole and I'm going to make sure that I can actually feel the stud behind the wall.
Yep, 100% there is a stud there. Now that we know for sure that there is, a, uh, is in fact a stud behind here, uh, let's open up this uh, box that has the mount on it and uh, let's get the mount up on the wall. There's a ton of different types of mounts that you can buy, uh, but all the mounts pretty much, uh, they may look different, but how they actually attach is pretty much the same way. So there's gonna be one portion that attaches to the wall, and then there's gonna be another portion uh, that attaches to the back of the television. And then the part that attaches to the back of the television, you then mount on what you have on the wall. Uh, so like I said, let's open up this uh, mount and see what we've got. As soon as I open up the box, uh, this mount actually came with a, uh, with a template. So you can see there's a little template here that I'll be able to cut out and put on the wall. Uh, and I'll draw a circle on the wall here, and I'll draw a circle on the wall there. Uh, and that's where I, I will uh, attach my lag bolts. You can see here that there's the piece that mounts on the back of the television. And then underneath here, there's a piece that mounts on the wall. And then you then attach the TV uh, to the wall bracket. Pretty simple. Let's get to it. I've got the piece mounted on the uh, back of the TV, and every TV is different, so all the mounts are, are different. So you can see on this one, there's a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of different holes on it. Uh, for universal mounting, uh, so you just have to sort of play with it and figure out which one uh, is best and, uh, and fits your TV. Uh, and I've got this one all squared away. Now let's mount the portion of the bracket that goes on the wall. And like I said, with all TVs uh, being different and the mounts essentially being universal, uh, they actually all come with all these. You know, these are a whole bunch of different size uh, screws and fasteners and even some uh, uh, some spacers if you have to keep it uh, further away from the wall uh, and it's got some uh, washers and like I said a bunch of different uh, screws all different sizes uh, and you just need to figure out uh, which ones fit in the back of your TV uh, it also comes with uh, with these uh, lag screws uh, and it does come with these uh, all your kits will actually come with these little plastic pieces which are drywall anchors uh, but I would 100% suggest you get these and you throw these away. Uh, I would not I would not use these and I'll tell you why here uh, in a little bit. You can go ahead and you can use the lag screws to get into the uh, into your studs uh, but if you need to drill into actually where it's just drywall uh, I would not use these uh, but I will uh, show you why in a little bit. For this particular TV mount uh, this is the part that actually goes on the wall uh, and you can see it actually opens up this way uh, so it will be essentially on the wall like this and you can have it up against the wall and you can pull it out as well and you can twist it uh, this way uh, and that way. So it actually comes out of the wall uh, this much and again this is really really important to make sure you get it in the, uh, in the actual stud uh, because you're going to have a TV on here. The nice thing about the, the TVs nowadays is they're super light. Uh, this TV, uh, you really want to make sure you look at the specs of the television and you want to see how much the TV weighs and you want to make sure your, uh, your mount uh, can hold uh, that amount of weight. This TV is super small, uh, what did I say, 43 inches? Any mount will hold that, but still you want to make sure you have it securely fastened to a uh, stud. And you also just want to make sure that you have a mount that's big enough, because this mount, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna hang a TV that is, you know, 60 inches or bigger, uh, this mount uh, won't fit. So you just you want to make sure you look at the specs of the mount uh, and the TV, and just make sure you buy the right mount. Let's get this on the wall. Now we already know where the stud is because we drew the line uh, with the level. Uh, so now I'm gonna use this template uh, that came with it. And I'm going to hold this template right where I want to screw them out. Uh, and we want the TV to be lower than this, uh, but we want it to be kind of in the upper left-hand corner of the television. So I've already got my line here, so I'm going to try to center that hole there, and I'm going to center this hole right here, and then I'm going to draw a circle. Right here. And then again down here in the bottom. And I'm going to use the same drill uh, that had that little bit on it. And I'm just going to do a quick little pilot hole through here uh, and through here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount the uh, mount up here. All these mounts are universal and they expect, you know, just the Joe average homeowner to be able to hang them. So they want to make sure uh, that the mounts go the right way. So you, you don't want to hang them out upside down. So there's usually arrows on them. So like, for instance, if you look at this one right here, uh, there is an arrow right there. That, there it is right there. So, you know, that part goes up. So, we know that we want to put this here, and, and I drew a hole here, I drew a circle here, and I drew a circle here from the template. So these should line up with the mounting holes, and they line up uh, perfectly. So I'm going to drill a little hole right in the center of this circle, right on the line, and I'm going to drill another hole uh, right in the center of this circle, right on the line. And I should hit a stud. Same thing up here. Bingo. 
Now let's mount this thing up here and with the lag bolt, so let's get it permanently on the wall. There is one thing to remember, uh, when you are drilling into wood and you've got your drill, uh, you want to drill it all the way in and then right when you're almost all the way tight, you really want to slow down because you don't want to over tighten your screw because if you over tighten your screw, uh, it's then going to strip out the 2x4 that's by there and then essentially it could just fall out. Uh, so you want to drill it all the way in uh, until you're right almost snug. Uh, and then you want to do the same thing down here, but you don't want to drill, you don't want it completely tight yet because before you get it tight, uh, you want to uh, get a level on it and make sure it's perfectly level uh, straight up and down. Like I said, these kits do come with uh, all sorts of washers, but I've got my own washer kit here. Uh, and so I'm going to stick a washer on that lag and we're going to get it screwed in. So there's the first one, and we'll get the second one on there. Now at this point it's okay to get one of them snug, but you don't want to get them both snug. And the reason why you only want to get one of them snug is because you want to have a little bit of play left and right so you can make sure it's level. There we go, slide it over a little bit and now that is level. Now let's get this in. There we go. Perfectly level and solidly attached to the wall. Before you hang the TV on here, just to make sure that it's good and tight, you don't have to do this, but you know, you know if you do this, then you know for sure the TV's not gonna fall. You can actually hang on the mount. So, if I put this over here, you can see my feet, right? So if I put my hands right on here, and I lift my feet up, look, I can go down, and I can go up, and I can go down, and I can go up, and I can go down, and I can go up. That 20 pound TV's not gonna fall off this wall. If you look really closely, uh, this is the top of the mount, this is obviously the back of the TV. There's a little uh, uh, gap right here, uh, and the part that's on the wall will actually slide in this. And then down here there is an uh, adjustment screw that will stop the TV from uh, swaying uh, left and right. So this is where it hangs up here, and this is where it attaches to the bottom portion on this particular mount. And this is the mount, and you can see it has some, uh, some tilt and uh, left and right. Uh, and this top part right here, uh, this will go through the top part of the mount uh, right here. Uh, and then we've got some adjustment screws uh, here where you can actually slide it uh, left and right just to make sure the TV is, uh, is perfectly level and plumb and all those fancy words. So I'm just going to put this straight up and down so it looks like it is not going to tilt. And we'll twist this guy right here to make sure this is nice and tight. I'll pull this out from the wall a little bit and we'll get the TV hung. I would recommend if you're hanging a TV that's, that's bigger than 43 inches that you actually have two people, but I think I could probably manhandle this one up uh, and get this one on the mount by myself, only 43 inches. There we go, uh, the TV's up, I've just got to tighten it in place. You can see on this particular mount, so this is where uh, I hung it, right through here. And then down here is the little adjustment screw. So you can see the TV is loose like this. So there is a little adjustment screw here. And you can then, uh, you can twist this left or right just to make sure that this is uh, perfectly level. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll put a screw in here, uh, but we won't get it totally tight. And then we'll throw a level up on top of the TV and we will then make sure it's level before we tighten this up. So that is still loose. I can jiggle this back and forth a little bit. Let's make sure it's level. So again, we'll get this right, right here. Look at that. So we put it just like this. Where's my screw gun? Make sure it's level. I don't know how well you guys can see that ball, but I don't want to look back at the camera because... There we go. Let's give it a little, a little English. There we go. 
perfectly tight, perfectly level. So as you can see, the TV is up, uh, it's perfectly straight. You know the TV is not going to fall down because you saw me do a couple, uh, couple pull-ups on it. Uh, the TV is securely fastened to that one, uh, that one stud uh, and the TV can pull out from the wall, it can, can push back to the wall uh, and it can tilt down and it can tilt up. Um, you are going to be able to see the, uh, the power because you can see there's power cables here uh, that's going to hang down and the power is actually uh, on the wall uh, right over there for this particular TV. So I'll probably get a little bit of pan to it and I run it over there and hide the TV and just paint it the same color uh, as the wall. Uh, which is a cheap, which is far cheaper uh, than getting an electrician to uh, move power behind the uh, uh, behind the TV. There are power relocation kits that you can purchase from Amazon. Uh, they're about uh, between forty and sixty dollars, depending on which one you get. I'll probably put a link to that uh, down in the description. Uh, but uh, my parents, who this is their TV, this is their uh, garage. Uh, they didn't want that. Uh, so, like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit of pan to it, and it's uh, it's easy as that. Uh, the only reason why I'm sweating right now is because I'm in their uh, in their garage. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if this was your first time to my channel, uh, please subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, uh, please uh, shoot them down in the, uh, in the comment section below. So again, uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Have yourself a great day. See ya. Bye.